Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Got Game Testers, and today's episode is a little special because once in a while, although we do many playtesting reviews for you and, and try to help you as designers or playtesters out there, um, we once in a while we'll get a game that is purely for review. It's a game that's already published and out there on the shelves for people to buy, and so I've got a few of them here for you today that I want you guys to go ahead and check out. The first one, without further ado, is What the Food. What the Food is by a publish new publishing company called Squirmy Beast Games. And this is by Peter Vohan. Now, I apologize. I always pronounce people's names wrong. So this is Peter Vo Vohan for now. Anyway, um, it's a classic f cafeteria food fight game, essentially. Uh, you're in high school and you play one of the high schoolers there. You can be the brainy kid or you can be the school jock or the high school cheer captain or whatever. Anyway, you play this game and you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying not to get as humiliated as other students in the cafeteria. Um, there are uh, humiliation tokens in this game and basically you're chucking food in combinations with you know, icky foods, gross toppings, and a special condition that they're in. For example, um, I think one of them is uh, questionable um, hot dogs lathered in peanut butter or something like that. And so you'll throw these cards down in combinations and they'll give humiliation points to other um, students and uh, it's really fun because it plays from three to eight players. I don't really suggest the lower end. It's fine um, But it's kind of a two against one situation um, So pretty much the whole game But when the more players you have the better and this one I would definitely suggest anywhere between five and eight um, It's there's a few games out there like that But this one I do highly suggest and uh, what you're doing essentially is just throwing out um you know, you're choosing a target and you're playing down a few actions. They're programmed a little bit, uh, kind of like Robo Rally or, or um, a Walk the Plank or something like that. Anyway, so this game um, is it has that kind of programming action ability. Meanwhile, you're trying to throw food at each other, and it's a lot of fun. It takes about 30 minutes um, to play. Explaining takes about five. Five um, minutes, that's about it, but pretty much. Um, I'm gonna have to give it on a scale of one to 10. This is definitely going to be like an eight in my book. It's definitely gonna stay on my shelf because it fits a niche that um, really it's, there's nothing out there like it that I'm aware of. There's not a lot of food fighting games that I'm familiar with, and so this one's definitely gonna stay on my shelf, and I highly suggest if you can find uh, someone, you know, find a copy of this on the shelf or online, what the food. The next one game I wanna talk about is from Red Tin Bot Games. Um, I'm pretty sure this is from Singapore. That's where the company is anyway. This is Otontin. Now, Otontin kind of mixes um, negotiation with zombie dice, and it's really, really similar to zombie dice, especially even with the color of the dice themselves. Uh, but the, the purpose of the game is to kind of be the guy with the most cocoa beans, okay? And you use these little warriors either for defense or for attack, and you negotiate between the two. Um, and I'm going to have to say, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is more of a 5, okay? Because now, I'm really, really sorry about it, but this game, it, it's like they're really, really onto something and didn't do enough play testing, and then just published the game. Um, the, the, I think the biggest issue is because there's player elimination, um, not necessarily from the entire game, but um, when you roll the dice, sometimes you'll get a combination where, you know, you roll four skulls in this game and you're completely out for the entire turn. Now, an entire turn lasts probably a fi about five minutes, especially if you're playing on the higher end of players for this game. Um, I would suggest this game to be played between three and five. That's my suggestion for this game, okay? You can play more than that. I don't suggest that. It will take too long. Um, it's not really a horrible game. Um, I'm not going to say that it's going to stay on my shelf, but it's um, it's really hard to find a niche of people who really would like it because simply because if you roll four skulls, you're out for a really long time and you sit there picking your nose for a good long while. Um, the the idea of negotiation with a um, with this dice chucking thing I do like, uh, but it's it really um, the the proportions are off from the dice uh, personally, especially with that rule that you can be eliminated completely from an entire round. There are several phases to a round. Um, if that elimination was simply for just the beginning rolling dice round, you know you keep rolling and then you you bust kind of thing, you know press your luck type factor. Um, and if it was just for the beginning dice roll round, but you still got to negotiate and things like that, then it would be fine. Uh, but the problem is, is that it's a take, you know, it's not only really take that and negotiation, but if you beat somebody, you know, if your warriors beat the other warriors, you take all of their cocoa beans. So everything that they worked for, towards um, gets, uh, gets 
uh, stolen pretty quickly. And so there's a lot of, I mean, you can look at it as really highly tense, dramatic, you know, anything can happen any turn, especially if you're good at negotiation. But um, as far as this game is concerned on a whole, I'm not super pleased with it, but it is a very solid game if you like that idea of zombie dice plus negotiation. So go ahead, check this out. Um, that is Otone Tin from Red Tin Bot Games. Last but not least is a doozy, okay? I know a lot of you guys have looked out there and uh, there's a couple of other games that are similar to this, but uh, if you like Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or Killer Instinct or any of those kinds of games, this is definitely gonna be the game for you, okay? This is Battlecon's second edition, in my personal opinion, that's what I call it anyway, Devastation of Indines. Now, this game, is a hobby in a box. You can't tell from this video, but it is very heavy. Super, super heavy, okay? I'm never gonna be able to explain all the rules to this game, but I call it a hobby in the box because there's more, there's definitely a huge variation of ways to play this game, okay? You can play it in the classic Mortal Kombat style, and there's 30 characters in here, um, and it takes forever just to master one, so replayability is super, super high. Um, it's definitely best as a two-player game, but, if you don't like two-player games per se, or you don't like the Mortal Kombat thing, or you're simply just getting bored of it, don't worry. They have kind of like this 8-bit, you know, um, go through the dungeon, uh, kill the monsters type cooperative play as well. Um, there's a whole rule book separate from that. The rule book is very, very lengthy, and they do have instructions that say, do not open this until you've done X thing, or, you know, don't turn to this page until you've done that thing, and they kind of have this cool little tutorial in the book um, very, very cool. I, I, you know, I really appreciate it because it helps me a lot to understand the game. They kind of do this little comic strip type thing to explain kind of a tutorial for the game itself. Um, there are a lot, a lot of phases to this game. It's very, very simple in the sense that, okay, you know, it's you know, first we reveal the cards and then we attack and then. Um, you know, we see who has initiative and that kind of thing, but there's a lot, a lot of sub steps in between that as well. Uh, mastering one character is super hard, but like I said, this is a very, very good game. I'm going to give it a, like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. The only reason why um, I'm not giving it a perfect 10 is because it probably is too much, okay? Um, there would be people that would complain that is there's far too much in this box in this game then they should probably make more expansions. They actually gave me expansions and I haven't been able to touch them yet because there's so much to this game as it is, as the base game alone, so much to this game that um, it's very, very hard to get through it all. So it hits the table frequently enough for me, which is great. I'm, I'm very, very pleased and very happy to have uh, been able to review this game. Um, I do highly suggest if you do like the Mortal Kombat feel or if you do have, uh, if you, play a lot of two-player games with a friend this is definitely it but there's definitely room for growth because you can play tag teams as well so it's two on two and and um, that's a lot of fun it takes a, a little bit for those people who haven't played before to kind of catch up but but the two on two is much much more intense than just the one-on-one -on -one kind of version here they also have like mega boss battles too if you want to kind of go through the simulation um, like I said it's a hobby in a box and it is making my arm tired just holding it oh my gosh um, if this is definitely worth every dollar that you would spend on it, uh, but just know ahead of time, I mean, it's got the Japanese anime feel. If you're not into that, obviously it's not going to be your kind of game, but if you want a game that'll give you a lot for your money's worth, this is going to be it. Devastation of Indines. There you have it, guys. Uh, there's a couple of reviews for you for games that are already out there and published. If you want to go ahead and try to buy one online or through your, lo you know, your local FLGS or flag or whatever they call those things, um, fantastic games go ahead and check them out i really want to give a shout out to level 99 games and uh for peter vohan as well as uh, red tin bot for allowing us to do these reviews as well anyway guys thank you for watching hope you guys have a great day and we will see you next time on another episode of got game testers mm -hmm.